Girls, we're going to try an experiment removing rust with science. What I've got here is an ordinary tote with a piece of a scooter that I rode back when I was four years old. An old valve cover. A choke from a slant six. Throttle return spring. The carburetor hold down from that same slant six. And a pair of pliers that were in my tackle box for about 15 years. Now what we're going to do, these are going to be the cathode. For the anode I have an old timing gear and a camshaft retaining plate from a Mopar small block. I'm going to put that in here. Somewhere around in here like this. Then uh, fill this with water and sodium carbonate and we'll apply some electricity and see what happens my theory is all that rust is going to go to the anode it's going to migrate over to the anode direct line of sight and in a few hours we might have some clean rust and if it works well then we're going to do that engine block over there Okay, let's see how this goes. Now just so you know, I didn't invent this method. But I wanted to try it. I've tried molasses. I didn't make a video of that. Works really well, but it stinks and it takes a long, long time. So the rule of thumb I heard was one tablespoon per gallon. Or if you're metric like me, you just uh, do this. I figure... About 250 milliliters which is a cup or so that ought to be more than enough what this does it just makes the water more electrically conductive because regular old tap water by itself is not all that electrically conductive unless you're taking a shower with a hairdryer or something so we'll fill this up and get it mixed up real good then go work on attaching the power Right, hopefully it's not too dark to see here. I had to go in and eat dinner, but the negatives on my work here and the scooter pieces wired to the valve cover and all these other little pieces. I got the positive here to the anode and I went ahead and added a, another anode. That's a bearing race for an old camper. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try this without a car battery charger. This is an old laptop charger it's 19 volts and 3 amps so let me put you on pause here a second I'll go plug it in and we'll see if anything's happening all right so almost immediately get down here and look can you see that bubbles already forming on the work here coming off already I um, don't know how good a contact it's getting on all these others it's definitely working for this uh, scooter piece that's the main one that I was curious about this is the worst so we'll let this sit about an hour and come back and check it and see if there's any progress you kind of see the little green haze on what used to be shiny metal already and some bubbles that's what's causing that haze okay so it's been about an hour and a half <clears throat> you see some scum forming on the top it's rust a lot of the uh, washing powder for some reason has decided to cling to the wires It's bubbling nicely down here on the scooter pieces. I can't really tell if the tools and springs and whatnot are doing anything. But, uh, you can see there's that washing powder clinging to the wire. I don't know if I should brush that off the anode or just leave it be. 
I am going to bring it inside the garage for the night. Because it may rain and I don't want it to mess that up. But I'm going to let this run overnight and then maybe check it in the morning and maybe after work tomorrow I'll uh, take everything out and see what it looks like. But uh, pretty impressed so far. I don't think it'll take the paint off. It might, but looks like all that rust is coming off of there pretty easily. Okay, be right back. Well, it's in the morning, so this means it's been 12 hours and 5 minutes since I started. You see this orangish red goop on top. And it's opaque so can't really see down in there it's a little place we can kind of see if it's dark and murky anyway uh, after work we'll snatch it out of there and see what it looks like up on this as you can see a lot of scums on top I had to redo these wires here using coat hanger because these little thin steel wires that I used on the cathode when they were on the anode they burnt exactly where the surface of the water is they burnt right through you can still see bubbles coming off it's a slower process than using some chemicals designed to convert rust but as far as ease is concerned this is pretty doggone easy so I'll let it go a couple more hours and I'll drain off the scum and pull some parts out and go from there it's time for the reveal I got the powers off let's disconnect this to make sure all right let's start here with these pliers uh, remember how grungy they were well Now they have a nice black coating on them. Kind of see there, the rust is just hanging off it. I'm going to get these out in a little while, wipe them down, and uh, probably hit them with some light oil to keep them from rusting again. And the spring, no real change. You can't tell it, but it feels like slightly less uh, rusty. But you know, up here, when I'm fresh, I feel more rust. Not really anything I'd call a change. Uh, carburetor hole down. Yeah. I think all this will wipe off. This kind of rubs off under my fingers down to metal over here the choke mechanism is now got kind of a black coating on it but no scaly rust is coming off so when I get that out and wipe it down with some oil should be all right see this anode over here I swap sides with them that was once get it to where you can see it that was once a nice shiny gear and now it's just rust coated the bubbles had slowed a lot so I guess this is why there's not really much more it can adhere to now the scooter oh yeah look at the contrast there and let's see here, this paint feels like it's loose, it'll just come off just by scrubbing it, yep. Just my fingernails taking it off. Didn't expect it to really remove paint, but it did. So, I'm impressed. I'll get this out in a little while and scrub it down with some steel wool. Now the valve cover. 
Where are your valve cover? And this rust on here just wipes off just like that. I did not expect the paint to come with it. So I would have to say I learned a few things. Um, you don't ne one, you don't necessarily need a car battery charger to do it. A computer charger will do it. It just takes longer. Fewer amps. Two, don't count on it to remove paint, but if it does, that's a bonus. So, certainly happy about that. Three, I learned that you don't use these little thin wires for your anode, it'll burn right through them. So, next time I'll get these out, scrub them down some hot water and drill them, and then kind of oil them and see what it looks like. And then I'll invert that end, invert it with that end in the tank. I'm going to clean all this out. I guess I could use it again, but I'm not going to. And then I've got some more rusty bits to put in there to try. Here we go. Here's the after. If you notice up here, this was what the before was like on the scooter. And this is what it was like after sitting in the tank. Now... It didn't take all the paint off the fender, and I suspect that's because A, it was a different kind of paint maybe, but B, there really wasn't any rust. I didn't expect to take the paint off, but as you can see the, from the pits, the paint was over rust, so as the rust fled, well, the paint went with it, most of it. And show you the back side here. Apologize for the lighting. See, it got down in the crevices and everything. So, very good. I'll insert this end next. And once I get it all down, I'll be able to paint it. Here's the uh, choke pull off. It's got kind of a black look to it now. The uh, wire, believe it or not, it degreased it. Here are the pliers, and they're fully functional. See. Doom, 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 doom. Before it wouldn't open and close at all. Now look at it. The carburetor air cleaner hold down and wing nut. I expected there to still be some rust where the threads for the wing nut were, but there's not. So it's actually able to get that through. I don't know if it comes out very well in the video, but it's got kind of a lamp black look to it. Now we come to the big disappointment here. The uh, valve covers. Can you tell which one's before and after? Yeah, this is this is the before. Really not much different. But what you see on here is flash rust. This was the first thing I took out. I took it out last night, and it's flash rusted back over. It's no big deal. This was an experiment, like I said, but didn't really do a whole lot for it. Now on the inside, I bet you can see a good bit of difference, and this is where the main part is. That's after. See, just a little tiny bit of rust remains but that'll wipe out I believe and this was what it looked like before so yes the the method does work very well but like I say this was just an experimental piece I don't know if I'm gonna try to paint these up and sell them on Craigslist or let go or something or just use them as future anodes don't know they were just kind of thrown in there. But wait until you see what the anodes look like. Look at that. Remember that guy? He was nice and shiny. 
go over here to this side. There's the camera tension plate. Diamond gear. And this isn't just on the surface. I mean, it seems to be stuck pretty well to it. It's down in the cracks of the gears and everything. I mean, it will come off a little bit. But I can wire brush that down and use it as anode again. There's the uh, wheel bearing and I'll use the, looks like a grease tube cap. One disappointment was this spring. It made absolutely no difference whatsoever before or after. So probably going to give it another go. I'm going to dump all this rusty water out. I've heard people say you don't really have to just get the scum off the top, but I'm going to dump it because it had a lot of that nice 1960s paint from the scooter. Don't know the lead content, so I'll have to dispose of this somehow. But anyway, that's our first uh, experiment with electrolysis and de-rusting. So thanks for watching. And I'll get to work on part two. Here's a little bit of bonus footage. Now that's daylight. Look at all that. Those are rust particles left over. And that's not including what was on these anodes here. Get a better look at them now. I mean, that's just thick. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with the electrolysis. Notice it burnt through my coat hanger. And it eroded away the end of this grease cap here. So, yeah. I'm just kind of sold on this method for something that's heavily rusted. I don't have the time to wait on molasses to work. So anyway, that concludes this video for sure now. I'm going to dump this out. And then uh, get ready for the next one. Take care.